inspiration. Have you ever been inspired by someone? Did that person know that they had inspired you? 1442. 14 hours and 42 minutes. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and amazing guests. I am so fortunate to be late in the program today because from table topics through all the previous speakers, they have prepared you for what I'm about to lay on you. I'm gonna take that information and I'm gonna drive it home just for you. Four years ago, I decided that I was gonna set a very large goal for myself. Yes, Jim, that's right, an Ironman triathlon. If you do not know what an Ironman triathlon is, it's a little bit of a swim, followed by a little bike ride, and then you go for a little run. Some of you know what I'm talking about. I'm glad you're with me. It starts with a swim. I knew that I needed to get a swim coach. Talked to a lot of people, I finally found myself the right coach. Carla. Carla was an amazing woman. We met at 5.30 a.m. on a Monday morning at a pool. She said, hi, Jim. I said, hi, Carla. She said, Jim, what are your swimming skills? I said, well, Carla, I'm not sure. She goes, well, can you swim? I said, of course I can swim. I'm a grown man. She said, OK, get in the pool, swim one lap for me. I said, OK, not a problem. In my mind, what I saw was <sighs> what Carla saw was <laughs> stop, Jim, stop. Yes, Carla? Jim, you can't swim. <laughs> but Carla, in two years, I need to be able to swim 2.4 miles in a lake. What? <laughs> yes, Carla. If you are up to the challenge of coaching me and inspiring me, I am up to the challenge of working very hard every single day. She said, OK. We spent an hour together that morning. By the end of that hour, she said, Jim, are you sure you're up to the challenge? I said, yes, Carla. I said, why do you ask? She said, because not only can you not swim, you are scared to death to be in this pool. I'm standing in about three and a half feet of water. She's up on the side. She said, look at your fingers. I said, yeah. <laughs> she goes, you are shaking and your fingers are ghost white. You are scared to death to be in this pool. I was like, oh, what was your goal again? <laughs> Not a problem. Then there's a little bike ride. At this point in my life, I did not own, nor had I ever been on, a road bike. This bike ride, 112 miles. Have you seen the seats on road bikes these days? <laughs> and I knew I was going to be on that bike for over seven hours. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? But what happened? As I was out there, I rode five miles. Then I rode 10 miles. I rode 20 miles. Oh, at 40 miles, I learned a new term. The term is called chafing. <laughs> Not a term I suggest you learning. But it was the other cyclists out there that I was talking to. The cyclists that were riding centuries on a regular basis, they were out there riding 100 miles at least once a month. And I thought to myself, if they can ride 100 miles once, once a month, I can certainly ride 112 one time. <laughs> then there's a little run. The run for an Ironman triathlon, 26.2 miles, a full marathon. I started my training, I ran one mile. Didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I ran two miles, liked it even less. <laughs> but as I was out there running, training, being coached by many, I learned that people that were running what's called an ultra marathon. Kind of puts it into perspective. Ultra marathoners, some of them run 50 miles, some of them run 
a hundred miles. It's all about perspective. These people were inspiring me. It was amazing. The event day came. I'm standing in three and a half feet of water in a lake up in Canada with 3,000 of my closest new friends. <laughs> I'm looking at their faces. Not the ones that were scared to death and shaking like me. I was looking at the ones that were confident. And they were ready. Ready for that gun to go off. The gun did go off. I swam 2.4 miles in one hour and 36 minutes and did not hesitate. It was from the inspiration of all those around me that got me through that. <coughs> then I quickly got my wetsuit on, got onto my road bike, headed out for my 112 mile bike ride. Oh, by the way, there was 6,000 feet of climbing in that bike ride as well. It took me a little over seven hours as planned, but I got through it thinking about those people that were doing so much more than me. Then I got to quickly get off my bike, put on my running shoes, and take off on my little run. 26.2 miles. I ran out, this was an outback, I ran out 13.1 miles and turned around and started coming back and realized that I was tired. <laughs> but I fought through it. I fought through it thinking about all those two years previous who had inspired me to move on. I completed that run in just over six hours. In total, the event took me 14 hours and 42 minutes. 14 hours and 42 minutes. You don't accomplish a goal like that without direct inspiration from your coaches, friends, and family, but also that indirect inspiration from people around you. I also realized that in pursuit of my goal, I was now inspiring others around me to do just a little bit more. I ask you, who are you going to inspire? Your goal does not have to be physical like mine. It could be financial, career, or relationships. Dig deep. Find those people that are going to inspire you both direct and non-direct, and you too can accomplish a goal that takes 14 hours and 42 minutes.